And the COVID-19 pandemic has brought the wheels of commerce to a grinding halt in many sectors. There is, however, a silver lining, uh, the pandemic storm, according to the chairman of Bidco Africa, Vimal Shah. Helen Aura has those details. The manufacturing sector has not been spared. The far-reaching effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Global supply chains have been disrupted, posing challenges to manufacturers who import their raw materials. Amidst the ravages of the coronavirus, however, are some low-hanging fruits, which, if grabbed, could lead to better outcomes for many companies. At the time when we're all talking finished, gone, whatever, we need to thank ourselves. We need to thank our government. And I say thank you from the entire Bitco, Bitco Africa staff to the government for facilitating Kenya to keep running, keep Kenya running, keep it going. I think in this period, we haven't had a lockdown, we haven't had a shutdown, and I think the economy keeping on running was an important thing. And I think I know that, I know that very well. The minute we are globally competitive from here, we can repurpose a lot of our manufacturing capacities in Africa, in East Africa, in Kenya. For Kenya's renowned manufacturer, Bidco Africa, there are no brakes applied when it comes to innovation. Sunquick Juice Concentrate is now the latest addition to the Bidcoro family, the joint venture between Bidco Africa Limited and Coro, a Danish company. The concentrate is set to be on the shelves in no time, joining its predecessor, Santop Juice. That we start to make those components uh, within, within Kenya. Um, we start to make some of those food concentrates uh, within Kenya and therefore we can aspire to retaining as much value here as, um, as, as, as possible. In line with the President's Big Four agenda, Industrialization Cabinet Secretary Betty Maina has stressed the need to partner with investors, particularly targeting the fast-moving consumer goods space. If you even increase our market share by 2% you know, of the things that we currently sell, or even 5%, the amount of potential in revenue, um, export revenue for the country is amazing. We just use textiles, um, nuts, fruits, uh, vegetables, the things that we're currently selling to America. We currently sell in, in, in those products a total of about six, you know, just a bit less than 600 million dollars each year. Our estimation is if we increased our market presence to, no, to 5% of those same products, we would earn 2 trillion shillings in export revenue. The ministry is looking to set up special economic zones in different counties to hasten the pace of industrialization while at the same time decentralizing industries from the Nairobi metropolitan area. Helen Aura, NTV.